Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to finally make a new video. Um, it's been a while, but I have a new thing to show. Um, so I have a server locking system. So you'll be able to click this part right here, and if you are whitelisted or whatever, the server will lock, and if it's locked and someone joins and they're not whitelisted, then they will be kicked. So let's just open this up right here, and we're going to take this, drag in the server script service, this remote event, lock the change, changed, put in the replicate storage. This is the block, so just put that in the workspace, take this locked thing, put it in do starter GUI. So first, we are going to open up this, and we are going to type local SL module equals, and then these the squiggly lines, SL module dot permissions equals a new table whitelist equals so now we have a spot to put in make sure I put a comma there with user IDs of players. Now right here we can do print uh, let's game dot players get Get user ID from name async, and then you can put in a name here. It's trust, and it will, you know, it'll give you it'll give you the user ID. So that's a way to get the user ID. So you can just put as many user IDs as you want in here. These will all, these people will all be whitelisted, and then the next thing will be the group settings. Voice crack right there. Uh, and then we will have the group ID, so let's just say it's like this. And then we will have the group ranks. So this is the group ID, and these will be the group ranks. So the, the group owner is 255. And yeah, so that is the group settings. And you can add as many if you want to add a comma on the end. We just copy this. You can add as many as we want onto that. So we are going to do SL module dot locked equals false. This is if you want to start the server as uh, as locked or not. If it you want it to be then true. If you don't want it to be then false, which I don't want it to be. SL module dot module dot check if allowed. And we're gonna make a new function and we're gonna get the player. For perm type info in pairs SL module dot permissions do if the permission type equals whitelist so this we're searching the whitelist then for underscore comma player allowed so for each player in info which this is just these players right here do uh oh we have a problem uh um, oops, I forgot to put it in there. Uh, so do if player dot user ID. So this is this player. If their user ID equals player allowed, then I can't I keep forgetting to put then? Then return true. So that means yes, the person is whitelisted. Next, else if perm type equals group. Then, so now we're going to search these. So they are not whitelisted in here, but we're going to see if they're whitelisted in here. So for each group ID and the ranks allowed in pairs info, do for underscore comma rank in pairs ranks, sorry if my keyboard is really loud, do if player get rank in group group ID equals rank, then return true. And it will not return true if they do not have the, it'll, it'll it will, yeah, it, then we'll see here. So SL module dot change status equals function player. Local allowed equals SL module dot check if allowed player. So this is the return thing right here. If it will return true, 
and if allowed equals true, then, so they are whitelisted, slmodule.locked equals not slmodule.locked. So if it's true, it will be false. If it's false, it will be true. Game.replicatedStorage.lock change fire all clients player.name comma to string and in the things right here you put sl module dot locked and we will get into this later and you're going to print server locked this is just what I had when I was testing but I think it could be nice if you wanted this and then sl module dot locked so this will just say it, the status has been changed or whatever now I ha you can have a custom kick message so it, let's just make it this server oops, this server is locked return sl module so this script is done um, yeah that's all done you can remember just you can configure this step in here this should be server script service server lock script and server lock module. So, just gonna open this up. Local SL module equals require script dot server lock module. Now, when a player is added, given a player is a player added, connect function, and we're gonna get a player. Local whitelisted equals, and we're gonna run this again. Check if allowed player. If whitelisted. If whitelisted does not equal true if it is not true then if locked is true if it's locked then player kick and then the custom uh, sl module dot kick message and this will be the custom kick message now we're going to come over to this right here and we're just going to do local sl module equals require game dot server script service dot server lock script dot server lock module. And we're going to do script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click connect function and the player. Oops. So when the click detector <laughs> click detector is clicked, you can get the player. And you can see a script up parent that click detectors. When it's clicked, whoever clicked it, it will change the status player. So let's make sure it is. Uh, actually, wait a second. Is this wrong? Here, wait. So first we do no. So they should all be check or change status. So make sure go back in here and make this change status dot change status. It should always be change status because when this change status is the function starts, it will automatically check this. So oh wait, wait I'm an idiot. Uh, no, we want to check if, he, if the person is allowed. Never mind everything that I just said. Uh, we do want to check if allowed because we want that to return the true or anything else. All right, now we are heading into the last part. This is an optional part. If you do not want this, then you can go into the module and delete this line right here. Just take that out. I'm going to keep it. And you would also delete this, but we aren't going to. We're going to open this up. And this right here is a it's like a not no, it'll give you give all the players it'll tell all the players that the person has uh, changed the status if you don't want this to happen then just do what I said delete the stuff uh, but I would just made this for fun I don't know if you guys would want it I put a gradient on it and I cornered it now in this in this script you're going to do um, local UI equals script parent frame Local moving equals false. Local easing, easing direction equals enum dot easing direction dot in. 
local easing style equals enum dot easing style and you can have any that you want I'm just going to choose linear you can have any easing style that you want I don't know much about using directions uh, so I'm I don't know if you can change that or not so game dot replicate storage dot lock lock change dot on client event connect function remember we have the player name and the status if moving is false then moving is not true we are going to have the UI dot text label dot text equals uh, player dot dot because this is only the name and that's a string dot dot has changed the locked status to status and then you can have now we're going to do the tweening or here we'll start with position equals item to dot new oops item two dot new one comma zero comma zero comma zero now UI tween tween position and we are going to do item two dot new uh, zero point five comma zero comma zero comma zero we're going to go out of these and go into the next one this is going to be using direction comma using style comma uh, did I spell this wrong I did wow okay we're just gonna put that there and then comma point one now we're going to tween or we're going to wait point one so this is going to it's going to go from here and it's going to like slide in super quick and it's going to slow and it'll slide back. Uh, if I, that's a terrible way of telling you what it would do, but it'll go like this and it'll go like this and it'll go like that. Or, no, it'll go like that. Oh my god. I'm, I'm terrible at this. It'll go like this and it'll show you and it'll go like that and it'll go out of the screen. But. Anyways, we will open this back up, and we're going to tween it again. So we have done the first super speed thing, <laughs> um, and now we're going to tween it again. This time it will be slower. So um two dot new zero point two comma zero comma zero comma zero, and then comma outside of this I just pointed to it on my monitor but you guys can't see that easing direction comma easing style comma three this is how long you want it to be shown I just had it as three now you're going to wait three if it's four right here then you're gonna have this as four but I just have this as three uh, now we are going to tween it for the last time And we are going to do item two dot no uh, negative zero point three comma zero comma zero comma zero comma easing direction comma easing style comma point one and we're going to await dot one then moving equals false so. That is it for this script right here. That means this all is done and should be working. I cannot uh, test because I am, I am. Uh, it will break my computer, um, and I can't really right now because my internet's really bad right now. But that is it for this. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you would like to, then you can subscribe and comment what you would like me to make next. Um, I would like to, as I always say this, but I would like to start making more videos, but it's just difficult um, 
during school and all that. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.